everyone. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial as to how to curl your hair with a straightening iron. This is something that took me a lot of practice to nail, so I just wanted to share with you a few tips and tricks that I have found to be really successful when trying to get that really soft, loose wave in your hair, a little bit more casual look when you still wanna go curly, but wanna keep it a little bit more casual. So something that I learned that is really important, I start from the bottom and work my way up. I've already curled the bottom layer of my hair just because the technique is the same throughout the entire thing and y'all don't need to see me curl every piece of my hair. But when you're curling with the straightening iron, make sure that first you brush out every layer of your hair, take little smaller sections. For me, I have really fine hair so I can take bigger sections in the back, but in the front, I like to make sure that they're a little bit smaller and always make sure that your straightening iron is curling away from your face and your hand is tipping back. I used to curl this side this way and it just didn't, they would come out really loose and just not great. So I always, on this side, I reach around the back and as you curl, just twist, or as you pull it through, just twist ever so slightly and just curl as you go down, move a little bit slower if you have curlier hair, a little bit faster if you have straight hair. And then see so you have that nice little curl at the bottom and a little bit of a wave at the top. Really important here is don't comb through as soon as you get finished because it's still hot. And if it's still hot, it'll pull that curl out. So just make sure that you just let it sit and let it cool and it'll hold for a lot longer that way. It's a mistake that I used to make quite often and I could never understand why my hair would fall so fast. I just thought that I had uncurlable hair and turns out I was just combing through it a little bit too quickly. As you can see, I pulled a section that's a little bit bigger and my hair has been blown out today because I just got it done, but I like to straighten the very base of it first and then just pull on through. Make sure that you keep twisting all the way to the end because if not, you'll get really smashed ends and really curled middle. So just kind of form that curl, pull some of the straight ends back, and just let that curl hang there until it cools off. And in the back is a little bit tougher, but just pull it out, find those straight pieces, brush through every single time that you pull a new section, just so it's nice and smooth and you don't have those tangles that get tripped up in there. I so said just twist ever so slightly, doesn't have to be a kink in there, just pull all the way to the end, you have that nice curl. And now on this side, you're gonna follow the same technique, just pulling out little sections, brush right through, but remember you want your wrist to be flipping back at all times, so reach around the front, depending on which dominant hand you have, and follow the same little per cur pull and twist all the way through, let that set, and then find the next straight piece. Just separate out those layers so that you can find those pieces that are still straight so that you don't miss them. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I got through my hair, I'm out in public and I see that there's a piece that I haven't curled and just hanging there straight it drives me crazy. Just keep pulling on through. Make sure that those curls are actually formed. If not, the great thing about curling with a straightening iron is that you can always go back through and fix it. Typically with a curling iron, it's a little bit hard to fix the curls if they don't come out right the first time. The straightening irons get so hot, so they can, can always fix your hair with the straightening iron. Just keep pulling. So now that layer is finished. Sometimes I like to do just a little spot check, make sure I actually got every piece that one didn't curl quite as much as I would like it to, so we're gonna do that one again. Little smaller section. And that layer's done. Again, we're not gonna comb through it, we're gonna wait for it to cool off. Typically I like to do all of my hair at one time and then come back and comb my fingers through it. Sometimes I run a brush, you take down the next section, Pull the hair back from the top. And clip it. Okay, so now we have some of the middle sections done, those middle layers, so I'm gonna move on to the top. 
Now I like the back, the crown of my hair to have a little bit more volume. So I typically split this section up as well. You just take that front section forward and I'm gonna reclip that or you don't actually have to. I just let it set forward and find where that division is. And actually flip all of it forward and start from that back layer at the crown. Brush up and the best way to get volume with a straightening iron here is gonna look a little crazy here for a second. Best way to get volume is start at the very base and twist as you go up, just twist back a little bit and straighten that straight up. And then as you get to the end, start that curl and just pull it straight through. That'll give you a little bit more volume in the back. And again, let it sit because anytime that you put heat on your hair, you wanna wait until it cools down so that it doesn't pull out the style that you just did. So just move back row by row. Curling as I pull it through. This section over here never does like to actually stay back when I try to pull it back, but I style it pretending like it's actually gonna listen to me. Just do it just like the other few. Just pull that back. And now I have some product in my hair right now. I just have some volumizer mousse. So it makes my hair a little bit sticky. If you do find that your hair is sticking to the straightening iron, if you let it stick, it'll put those little jagged marks in it. So just loosen your grip a little bit. I have a problem with gripping my straightening iron super tight. And not only does it get your hand tired, but it also sticks to your hair and doesn't make it look as smooth and natural. So this is usually about the last layer that I do like this, so then I don't get that 80s wing style. Just let that fall where it may. Now you find those straight sections in the front, just kind of pull them away from the hair, pull the cur curls back so they cool off and find these straight sections. Right here, this is actually one that should go back as well. And that last layer like that. Now with these front sections, I like to be very specific because I get some waves up at the front. And if I don't take a really small section, those waves don't get straightened out and they don't look good. So straighten this just like you would any other section, just not pulling as far back. And see, I got some sticky spots, so I'm gonna redo that one. section always gives me a little bit of problems. I think everybody has that one section that they have to kind of coerce into working with them and this is mine. So sometimes this takes me a little extra time just to make sure it's good and brushed out because those tangles will keep it from holding that curl and just try it again. Good thing about the straightening iron is that it has a lot of heat in it so it can continue fixing any mistakes that you might make. Now I have bangs that hang down but when my hair is curly like this I don't like to wear them straight. So I'll take small sections of my bangs and curl them exactly the same like I do the rest of my hair so that it kind of flows into it and looks a little less styled, a little more casual. See those bangs just curl right with those layers. And once you comb through, it looks really nice. It's got a really nice wave to it. And the bangs, you'll be tempted to pull them forward like you normally would, fight that. Because when you pull it back and you straighten up, it'll still give the same volume and then you're able to comb them down later and they've got a really nice shape to them. Just fight the urge to do that, leave it, let it cool, and you'll be able to fix it later. Now the point is just to get all the curls uniform and get all the curls done. So this is my last little section. Now right around this time when my hair is cooling off, let those curls set. I like to just check the back of it, make sure I got every section so I didn't miss any of those straight stragglers. I found one right there. This little buddy made it through. Just take that, just a little piece of it is straight, you see that? 
can't handle it. The good thing about these small sections is they typically curl really fast. You only need to run it through a couple times. Here we go. Now, you just softly curl your, or comb your fingers through, loosening up those curls. Sometimes I like to take a brush through. It's scary at first when you pull a brush through freshly curled hair, but it'll snap right back. Because again, the straightening iron gets so hot, it will hold your curls for a very long time. Pull that crown back. Sometimes I throw some hairspray in there. Make sure it actually holds that back. My hair is super fine, so it likes to kind of do what it wants. And I have to spray it into submission. So I put a lot of hairspray in my hair. At any given point in time, you can guarantee that I've got at least one round of hairspray, if not three, caked in there. But if you're lucky that you don't need a lot of styling products, that's perfect. That one wasn't quite as curled as I like, so pull that through and just keep combing. Just make sure, just get it to where you want it to be, get it to where you want it to lay. Here's a couple more places that didn't curl the way that I would like. This one's on top, so I'm gonna use that same Pull straight up and twist back as I go and keep some of that volume. Now with the bangs up here, like I said, you just pull them forward, just crunch them forward, cover it up, pull them straight down and they've got a nice little shape to them and you just curl them back to your hair. This is when I take my hairspray, cover up my face, especially if I've already got makeup done, always cover up that face and just spray it on there. Sometimes I also like to spray my hand a little bit and just shape them exactly the way I want to look. That's good to kind of tame some of those little flyaways, those little pesky hairs that like to stick up out of nowhere. And if you want to kind of curl some of this again to make sure that it follows that shape, if not, that is curled hair with the straightening iron. Let me know what y'all think.